Good morning. Welcome to our daily devotion here at St. Paul's. Again, I'm Pastor Berg. Happy Friday. We made it. Another week is done, huh? Well, at least we're starting the day here. But you think about this. My daughter has a calendar, and it celebrates every single holiday you could imagine. Like today, on her calendar, it says, Happy Friday. This is Happy Principal Day. So if you know a principal, go and say thank you for your work. Uh, that's how it goes throughout the whole year. Every day is a reason to have a celebration. Well, today the text that I have for you today is just that. It's to remind us to celebrate. The words we have today come from Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again, rejoice. This whole week and all the devotions have been leading up to this to remind us that every single day we get to rejoice in the Lord. As you and I think about the Apostle Paul's life, it wasn't always the easiest life, was it? He's one that he'd have a a whole huge list of all the things he had to endure from shipwrecks to to beatings to being whipped. Uh, He is the one that was left for dead after he was stoned one time. Uh, The Apostle Paul definitely didn't have easy days because he says even in Philippians he knows what it's like to be hungry. He knows what it's like to suffer. But what does he say? Rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again. Rejoice. See, the Apostle Paul knew that his life wasn't based upon the, the happy events of every single day. As things get back to normal, we're going to start doing those things that make us happy. You know, those events that every day we enjoy to do. Uh, we enjoy it being able to do. But what truly does bring us joy in our hearts, in those hearts of faith? It is always that good news of Jesus. If anything, that's what I hope you got out of all the devotions this past week. We started off by thinking about God's mercy for us. And, and then we started talking about how knowing Jesus is to be that resolve for every single day because he is that one who lived for us, died for our sins, and rose to give us everlasting life. And then finally, we look closer to um, God is truly our refuge that we are to seek out each and every day, and his word will preserve you and me. See, our joy is in the plan of salvation that God has completed and brings to us every day in his word. Even though like our health can be taken from us, and, and, our, and let's just face it, we have lost freedom, we lost time, we lost our abilities to enjoy certain things during this COVID-19. But what did we still have? The plan of salvation, completed, finished by Christ and all that he did for you and for me. For all that he did in his life of living according to God's command, for his death on that cross, for the, the sins that we have committed, and for that resurrection. This is what never was taken from you and me, but it was there in our homes, able to be picked up and read and to be pondered every single day. So you can say happy Friday. Good. Enjoy it. I say happy Friday too. But also rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in what he has brought to us. Let's go to our good Lord and let's pray to him. Dearest Jesus, thank you for giving me the reason to rejoice each day. You have come to to me. You have lived here on this earth among the people of this world. You died for our sins and rose for giving us eternal life. And now this day you reign over all this world for me. In the business of this life and all the busyness that comes along with it, the frustrations and fatigue that also come, keep our joys rooted in you. When all things collapse around us, bring us back to you as our Lord and Savior. Amen. God's grace, mercy, and peace be yours in abundance.